Hey Capricorn. May. Taurus reading. Fellow Earth sign. Ooh, you come out first. Before we get into it though, all information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below. As well as the extended to the readings, which are doing very well. Meaning I think that they are fantastic, so definitely check them out. Um, you could check out previous ones. I've released a few uh, in the past few months. And if you hear any background noise, it's just my dishwasher. But you shouldn't really hear it too much, okay? You, you may be feeling more like yourself. In ways that, interesting. You may be feeling more like yourself. However, it may have been taking some time to get there. Yourself is different this time around. You are different. You may express differently. You may share differently. But most importantly, this is about how you have because we like how you have parented, how you've been parented, how you've been programmed. This is a lot about that. You are in a space where you can see eye to eye or with your partner. You can see, really see eye to eye with that right now with who you are, with who you were, who you're becoming, with what you've learned, whom you've learned that from. Sorry, I'm just having an issue. Okay. Who you've learned that from and a deep resonance with this underlying value system. You want to nurture these things in a way that's even better this time. And I think that if you allow yourself to have this communication and connection with your real wants, desires, and needs right now, that at this time you will get a lot of what you ask for. It's a great time to accumulate, to receive, to be in this space of I'm worthy of what's going on. You may even meet someone who's who just matches you perfectly or sees things the same way and you might feel like oh my god like this is this too good to be true no it's not or you're just really seeing eye to eye with your partner perhaps but it's also about this materializing of your not only your purpose your path your passion your power any of those things that relate to you um, what you're skilled at is aligning with your material wealth at this point. You it could not feel that way. <laughs> you might feel a little constrained at first, but everything's really coming together and causing you to maybe even let go of something that you've built up inside of you. Maybe a little bit of an extra, you know, take away this one wand, then you have the four of wands, right? Take away this maybe extra stressor. This all takes away an extra stressor or something that had been stressing you out or something that just wasn't what you thought it was. It could be very real that Aries season showed that to you. But also if this is just about you like in governance, governor, gov, governance, gov, governance. I'm just going to go being like the governor of your own self, you know? So it's a very upfront reading that you will have more of what you are desiring. You will have more of what you're needing as long as you're being receptive to these sides of yourself. So this could be also this conversation between the feminine and masculine sides of yourself and this healing To 
just have some wild kitties. <laughs> uh, but it's also about the remothering and the fathering of the self. That in this time, uh, during this beautiful month, that you begin to experience even the generosity that you give. So you will experience that most likely in an equal way with someone this month. Could be a love interest. It could be um, a parental figure. Maybe you even have conversations with your parental figures or the people that you, who helped raise you, whoever it is. And it brings you to this very... My cats are crazy. Oh my god, I can't do this one. Oh. Okay, should we keep going? Crazy. Uh, I just want to keep going because I just think this is a perfect spread. So if you just don't mind the little hiccup there. Um, cats, you know, what are you going to do? I almost shut it off, but nah. So I think it's just bringing you back to yourself in a way that you feel more in control, more powerful again. Um, especially if you've been feeling like lack, less, or weak. Taurus. But also just that you are in more control than you realize that maybe asking for help or having someone else ask you for help in ways helps you being of service in your life in a way where it's not you're not being rushed anywhere right so anything that makes you feel like you have to go faster than you are usually is just a sign of self, possibly self-sabotage. This season is, this is all coming up, preparing you almost, because what's happening is that you get this chance to speak from a place if you haven't been able to in your life. Maybe recognizing these parts of yourself that you maybe rushed to grow up. You rushed to mature. You any of those things and now Taurus season is here and is like well what if we took a look at what happened like what transpired during these conversations or during this internal conversation with yourself or this divine conversation with the universe God the source it's possible that what you may be recognizing now or the or the love or the nurturance that someone had given you before and you felt it it makes you realize where maybe you didn't get exactly what you needed and all the time, which is very normal, right? So like we can't, even if we have great parents or great, you know, role models, we can't expect ourselves to not have any issues, right? I mean, it would be fantastic for sure. Don't get me wrong. However, it's not that common. We all just are our own people and we are individual self so therefore things don't always go that way and even though you are you know the closest to perfect I'm just kidding <laughs> but you are and you have so much goodness and generosity and value and integrity and loyalty and you take charge and all this stuff this month it's time to have both that back and forth and for you to realize that there are some things that maybe that this interest, whether it's love interest or this person who cares for you, naturally cares for you, or this time in life that is naturally like wants to care for you, is making you realize that there are places that maybe you need to speak to that you just rushed past in your life. And I think that can happen to some of us who maybe have to grow up too fast or... Um, just experience certain things from a young age or have expectations of ourselves, whether our parents or someone put them on us or not, right? And I don't, in the long run, that hasn't been very helpful for you. Um, because it's caused you to maybe self-sabotage in some ways in this season during Mer Mercury retrograde, which we'll get into more into the next part. 
um because we had Taurus and Aries show up here that you are taking this time to see that now that this month you become highly aware through these conversations through this contemplation through this discussion through the situation that and it could be with a cancer but it also could just be about your purpose it could be about how you it might not be specifically how you balance the male and the masculine and feminine parts of you it could just be this this increase in value in yourself and how you care for those parts of you how you become more of yourself more whole more at ease inside of yourself and i think that all of this is speaking to a few things that you may need to rehash this month with someone because you realize that there are places where you do do this and you can get yourself caught up in so too much inside of yourself so yeah i think that it's if you are having even if you are having this conversation internally with yourself i do highly suggest that a trusted person or people parental figures whoever it is in your life that you have actual discussions with that you actually sit down and talk to these people why because i think it's going to be very beneficial for you you know we all have these times in our lives and i think it's only going to bring more understanding more compassion to yourself even yeah we're not going to say too much here too much more just know also just know this month that you can't take everyone at their word okay so that could maybe cause this little effect here about what you may be rehashing about relationships or how you were appreciated, how you're loved and vice versa. That could be it. You don't have, you could take it personal if you want. <laughs> you could do whatever you want with that. But I do feel like this is gonna help um, any questioning or internal struggle this month is going to kind of expand it for you so that you can learn to accept it love it understand it more okay capricorn have a good month see you in the next part and see you next month